Hello and welcome to another episode of Criarchus Plays Space Hulk Ascension Dark Angels. Now, if you were with me last time, we got through the cleanse mission and the knowledge is power, having been stuck the previous mission on Pierce the Darkness for ages. And we've been presented with this option of two flash missions followed by standalone story missions. Now, I'm going to just quickly see what's going on here because we did actually level this guy up. Maybe we missed something. No? Looks... Okay, it's probably just a skill we missed then. Can be a bit fussy about it sometimes. There we go. Now, better sort out these guys. Ah, uh, so, this time round. I know. I've been looking at these... Uh, apothecaries and seeing whether it would be worth trying to push through the campaign with them and the overwhelming consensus on the internet is that the apothecary is pretty much useless he, um, apparently later on at high levels he has some usability but when you compare him to the librarian or to the other commander he's not much of anything so I'm not sure um, I want to show you guys the apothecary but I also don't want to start losing um, terminators unnecessarily and I just from my experience with Pierce the Darkness uh, he just doesn't really bring enough to the table to warrant not taking one of the other classes. So we're going to go with Squad Logos this time. Uh, doing Last Stand, which is a survival mission. Um, and then after that we're going to be doing the Psychic Dawn, whatever that is. So, Gene Seals are cunning creatures and will take any opportunity to launch an ambush on unwary foes. Your squad has fallen into one such ambush, but with your weapon's indomitable will, you will survive and drive away the gene stealer filth. So there. Do the gene stealers know that this is the plan of action? That is the question. So, let's have a look at what's happening here, shall we? So there's our crate. Hope it's something worthwhile this time. And there's our deployment zone. So, we're going to head south with Terminator ready. the Librarian, the Flamer, Your command. and who have we got here? Right there. There we go. Zephyron, then Thumiel, and who's this? Scalprum will be bringing up the rear. And look, we've already got a spawn point there, that's fantastic. So can we reach that and block it off in one turn? Yes, we can. So that's his objective, blocking that spawn point. Move forward. Nothing on the sensors so far, so that's good news. I'm gonna keep him, as we block that spawn point, I'm gonna keep this guy as a rear guard here and he'll be on his own but Targets. We are moving. so there we go first gene stealer spawning we're going to move him down actually we don't need to move him down anywhere we can just turn him around him to overwatch i've got the feeling that one Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'll we'll get to there this turn. So can we get here, open the door, and then go on to Overwatch, perhaps? Ooh, that's a few, fair few gene sealers there, isn't it? So we've got access to far more psychic powers this time. We are going to nuke here. So you've got a lot, even ones that weren't 
initially in, but those two survived. Interesting. Open the door and go on to Overwatch. Move our flamer forward. Turn in this way just in case something does manage to open the door. Move this guy back too. Go on to Overwatch so he can protect the rear if we need to. Librarian's in a little bit of a precarious position. It's overheated already, that's not good. Still, we are a librarian. So, we're going to Hellfire again. Hellfire here. Yeah. Two of them survived there, did they? Yeah, okay. That corridor is now blocked, so we're just going to shuffle forward one. Put him onto Overwatch, then reload. Cool down. Can actually move forward one here. Open this door. And then, can we flame down here? Yes, we can, so why not? Shoot some Promethium down there to sort out those two. That should work. Yes, there we go. Then back into line order. And then one, move this guy back. Two, the librarian's not out of danger yet. That guy can come through here and be annoying. Is that a vent there? No, it just looks like a corridor, part of the decoration. Okay. Oof. There's a lot of them there. How many side points do we have? 17. And this is why the librarian is just completely and utterly overpowered in this game. Because of stuff like that. Got to say though, for what's yes, this, the no, fourth no. mission? Something like that in the game? They are throwing a hell of a heck of a lot of gene stealers at us. For so early in the game. Securing area. Not complaining, because more gene stealers, more kills, more XP. But crikey. Moderation, guys. End turn. Doing okay up there. Close. We're going to do another hellfire. No luck, we'll block off this corridor, which will allow us to get to. Yeah, that's dead. Okay. Now, well, with any luck, allow us to knock off Overwatch. Ah, look, we've got some gene sealers there as well. That is a shame. So we're going to come down here, go on to Overwatch. With any luck, you'll be able to kill those without too much hassle. Flamer's moving oh, down. This is this guy. Going to leave him guarding this intersection, I think. Did a good job last turn. I'm just going to try and get to block this spawn point next turn, but the Librarian's a little bit vulnerable now. No mercy. Doing okay though. Hey, they didn't spawn any more here, so the librarian can now block off this spawn point like that. And we can open this. And was it worth it? What did we get? Ugh, another XP bonus. Seriously, guys, this thing is really messing me over. And just doesn't want to give me anything nice. Doesn't want to give me any toys to play with. Keep our flamer here, doing a good job of burning everything. I think we're okay there. So, next turn we'll have to meditate our librarian. Turn him around and meditate. Get some of his points back while there's a lull in the Aggression of the Gene Sealers. How many turns have we got left? 
Seven left. Oh, there we go. Hello. Do you like fire? That's the question. Well, a lot of you didn't, seemingly. I'm going to move the flamer back. I'm going to put him on overwatch so that we have an extra fail safe. Should a gene sealer make it through the flames or something, they then have to get past two shots from Zephyron. Oops, so there's did I? I can't remember if I slept with the. I uh, meditated, not slept. <laughs> meditated with our librarian this turn. Don't think I did. There we go. It's got 17 side points now. A few shots. So I'm get past them a little bit there though, aren't they? Oh, we've got more gene sewers in the bottom. Now I'm pretty confident that I can leave this going here and just keep flaming them, but on later missions of course when they've got flesh hooks this would be an incredibly risky tactic to be employing. It would be very very easy for the gene sealers to just pull the flamer out of position and then we would have a dead flamer. And that gene sealer did not die. So we're just going to add an extra little gout of flame there. We've got enough fuel for the rest of the mission. He's overheated so we're going to just cool his weapon down, take a shot at this guy. Once. Twice. Missed again. Good lord. Okay. This is one lucky gene stealer. Cool his bolter down. Now what can we do here? Is there anywhere we can protect him? Force barrier. Yes, we can drop a force barrier there if we need to. But that would block line of sight, so I don't want to do that particularly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna hope that he can make it through. Okay, he did get him. Multiple targets acquired. Hostile targets ahead. Okay. He needs to reload and then cool down his bolter. There we go. Nobody's coming up north, so I'm quite happy about that. Flame has got a bit of a quiet turn there. It's okay. Or hideous gene sealers. That first one survived. He did again. Okay, we're going to leave it at that then. Could we? Uh, we could hellfire it, but that seems a little bit of overkill. So instead, we're going to step him back again. So if he wants to go for the flamer, he's going to get three shots, or he's going to have to turn and face the other chap. There we go. That's what I was talking about, having a fail safe there. Just that little bit of extra support. What are we doing? Three turns left to go. And I've got the feeling we're going to be okay somehow. They're not even bothering the northern spawn point, the northern points. Another gust of flame. Got him that time. Well, with any luck, Skier will level up this turn. And we'll be able to get a nice new weapon. Although, again, this hasn't been patched yet, so the assault cannon is pretty much useless at the moment. Um, which is a real shame. Because the assault cannon is a cool weapon, 
but I'm not going to get to show it to you guys because of the ammo bug that it's got currently. How are we doing here? Is that it? Oh, that's a shame. I wanted to use some more flame. Never mind. So, I wonder how many kills we got that time around. 78. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> See the flamer and the... Hey, Scalprom did a good job too. 78 kills. Hmm, okay. Not doing too badly. 13% XP bonus. Really wish that had been a weapon upgrade or something. And nobody leveled, seriously? You miserable thing, you. Look at that, 98%, he didn't quite level. Never mind, never mind. So, straight on to the next mission, Psychic Dawn. Locate an alien artifact that is energizing the Xenos. Hmm, okay. Both squads. So we'll get to see our um, lackluster apothecary anyway. Maybe he will redeem himself. Alien attacks have been constant and almost overwhelming. Never before have we seen gene stealers acting with such coordination and further. Initial theories pointed to the imminent arrival of the Tyranid Hive Fleet, but the librarians have identified something else that may be a factor. There appears to be an artifact of suspected alien origin deep within the Space Hulk that is emitting a psychic signal and drawing the gene stealers to it. If it is somehow empowering them, then it must be removed. The librarians are establishing wards in a communications chamber close to the artifact. Retrieve it and take it to them so that they can safely dispose of it and end its influence on the Xenos. Okay, so... Is it a fetch and carry mission? Good lord, another huge map again. Well, this DLC really does like giving you big maps, doesn't it? Okay, look at the size of this map. Crikey. Okay. How long we got? Might have enough time to get through this. We'll see. I don't know a plan of attack yet. This is a large corridor, is it? This looks like a triple width corridor. So, we can take, take both squads up these corridors leave squad 2 to defend this area and got a corridor there perhaps and have squad 1 go and retrieve the alien artifact so that's the plan whether it will survive contact with the enemy well that's a different matter entirely we'll have to see awaiting your command Radius commanded. And who's got the best ballistic skill of this bunch? They're all pretty, uh, they're all pretty abysmal. He's got the best ballistic skill, so he can lead the squad. I shall not fail. Okay. What the heck? That's a great start, guys. There is a bugged deployment square. I cannot actually deploy to that square. So that's okay. What we're going to do instead, we're just going to shuffle forward. And we can then deploy into this square instead. That's, that's good. Can we actually deploy to that square now? Nope. So, yet another glitch with this DLC. Seems to be par for the course, doesn't it? A running theme so far. Which is a shame. Uh, understandable, I mean, full control, uh, as I've mentioned before. A little slim on staff at the moment, sadly. So I guess bugs are to be expected. But it does make... And they're not... I mean, apart from that one bug during Pierce the Darkness, they've not been too terrible. But it does just niggle a little bit. Right. Get the librarian moving. I've 
change that order around, but never mind. Both these guys have got six movement points, that's fine. Okay, in first turn, we shouldn't have anything to deal with, I don't think. Nothing on the sensors. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Checking Xenos movement. Still nothing. It's good to know. So we're going to come around this corner. Got to move reasonably slowly because we have to wait for the other squad. Moving to target coordinates. We're going to move with overlapping fields of fire where possible. It's not always going to be possible, of course. Don't have anything on our scopes, so we're gonna just move as far as we can. That's fine, okay. We can put some of these guys on Overwatch just in case we get something coming through. Front, yep, first contacts. We've got some contacts behind us as well. So it begins, it would appear. Objective locked. These guys have got enough to go into Overwatch, so we're going to have they will fall. double overlapping fields of fire. And we're just going to start moving forward. One square at a time, so that we can keep some sort of cohesion between our squads. Yes, my lord. Scanning for enemy movement. Plus, I don't know what this map's like. Watching for enemy contact. Good thing is, of course, we will have um, the XP bonus for this mission. Clear a path. Yay. <laughs> Stay alert, I really would prefer an upgrade to the standard bolter my or something like that, two. but. Hey, there you go, beggars can't be choosers, can they? First in us contact. Yeah, this rear squad's bolters are overheating like crazy. We have to be relying on the flame or a lot by the looks of it. Which is okay because again, I'll give the flamer some XP. Which can never be a bad thing having your heavy level up. Focus fire. But these guys do suck really bad. It's safe to say that they are pretty much abysmal. safe from behind now so we're going to move a little bit more expediently you can still go on overwatch just in case something manages to get through there did I forget to no, I didn't. just couldn't see I thought I'd for a second then I'd forgotten to put my librarian on overwatch but just at this distance I couldn't see the icon Why right in my personal space? There we go. Spawn point over there. That's fine, don't mind having spawn points around. Multiple targets acquired. Not seeing masses and masses of gene sealers just yet. No mercy. Not that I'm complaining about that, I mean. I don't want to see masses and masses of gene sealers. Who the heck has he got sight on there? Really? Seriously? 57% chance to hit. What do you think? Should we try it? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> now that has to be the shot of the century. And another one? How cool is Thumiel? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that shot. Well, I think he gains the Marksman Award, doesn't he? That was pretty impressive shooting there. Overwatch. 
Just goes to show you again, as I keep saying, 57% chance, still worth taking that shot. Because you never know your luck. We have a blind corner here, don't particularly like that. And if we step back, we're going to lose the shot. Oh, 19% chance, and he took it. He got it. So, good for him. You do get these one offs every now and again. I mean, usually, yes, the AI does seem to screw you over, but. Or the RNG gods, I should say, really, it's not the AI. But you know, every now and again, good lord. He took another one down through that long range shot. You, sir, are an absolute badass. Honk in here. Nice big intersection here. It's an interesting map. I mean, it's big and open, but it's... Taking position. I know. The feeling of it, the graphical feel of it, it feels very oppressive. Stay alert, brothers. I've been quite impressed with, other than the bugs, of course, I've been quite impressed with the DLC so oh, far in terms of the feel of the maps. Could have done without the bugs and yes, without the, like, the apothecary being kind of a wimp. Um, maybe he should have been an upgrade to another Moving squad out. member. Well, I suppose that would have made the squads too powerful, but... Securing area. I know, I just feel that of all the bits and pieces in the DLC, he's lacking the most. We've got nothing coming from behind us, so actually we're just going to reload these guys' bolters. It's all on our front guys at the moment. Okay. Yeah, see, Librarian's not as good a shot, is he? However, the Librarian does have the ability to Hellfire. Which, yeah, you know, good shot, phenomenal psychic powers. Yeah, who's to say which is better? Uh, should we move forward? No, we need to move forward slowly so that the squad behind can keep up. Flag secured. Just look at how dark that feels Secure around the them. Area. Even with their suit lights and stuff on, it just feels like the darkness is coming to swallow them up. Flag we should be secured. safe from the flank here, because there's flame. Now, even the Xenos aren't crazy enough to run through... Well, they are crazy enough to run through flame, but if they do, it doesn't Security generally do them area. any good. Got some gene seals coming up here. That's fine. Don't worry too much about that. Yes, Don't think anything can reach us in one turn. Moving ahead. To overwatch. Securing position. Watch again. Scanning for enemy movement. Give me our flamer back. Positioning the flamer here prevents oh geniuses from getting into a sort of a bubble in the middle and being able to just slaughter creatures. Got some fell xenos coming up the side there. I'm gonna move forward a little bit at a time. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can catch anything with a flamer here. Maybe with a focus fire we can. We can catch one of them there. So how about a wide fire? Yeah, we can catch them like that. I've got the feeling that the corridor is there though, isn't it? Hmm. So I think the focus fire works better. Does it? We can only catch one there. Could we catch two with the wide fire? I can't quite remember to be honest, guys. No, it's still only one. Really isn't worth flaming 
for just one kill. What we're going to do instead is move our two side guys into positions where, okay, he's decided to merge with his buddy there. Move these two guys into positions where they can go onto Overwatch on the flank. And with any luck, they'll cover that space well enough that we won't have to worry about it. Securing area. With all due haste. Nothing coming from down south, which is good. Given how bad these guys are at shooting, it would seem. Can't hit the flat side of a bulkhead. Overwatch. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. If needs be, I suppose we could blast these guys with psychic power, couldn't we? Not much of a fan of having his flank exposed. Didn't notice that. I'm going to drop a force barrier here just to protect the librarian's flank like that. So he's got a little bubble there to protect him. Just in case they turn out to be terrible shots, which they kind of did, really. Okay. Quite a few gene seals coming through again. Now, we should be able to catch a couple of them with the flamer here. Focus fire, like that. Yeah, we catch them both. There we go. That should level him up. Position. Okay, we've got a chasm here. That's not fun. These chasm rooms really mess up line of sight. Um, watch protocol which is very annoying. Is there apothecary? Now you see, in this situation, the apothecary can actually buff everybody in the group. Which is kind of cool. Going into Overwatch. It really is. But how often do you get this kind of situation going, going on? Is Overwatch. the problem with it? Weapon functional. And the answer is not often. Well, certainly not often enough to Order make him worth only. sacrificing another Terminator for. Because essentially he's just a bog standard Terminator. He doesn't have any additional benefits. Okay, got some gene stealers there. Nothing too major. Uh, this is where it starts to get tricky, so let's have a look here. So we've got a door. This is a three space corridor. This is a three space corridor. Right, and that's our extraction point. Okay, so. Group one needs to split and head down this way to get to the, yeah, to get to the relic. It should be over, where did the relic go? Over here somewhere, the artifact. And group two then is gonna have to hold this point here. Oh, this isn't going to be fun, is it? I can see how this is going to go already. And the answer is, not all that well because well group one really suck at everything i think they just generally fail at life a bit of overkill hellfire on just one gene sealer but there you go gets the job done that's all you can ask for uh, I'm going to just face him this way to keep Overwatch in that direction. Overwatch protocol initiated. Affirmative. Face him backwards just in case. 
We have to keep moving slowly with Group 2. Keep an eye on this direction. I think maybe this is one situation where the Apothecary's abilities might come in handy in a defensive situation. I'm certainly hoping that's the case. Holding. We can kind of just sit him in one place yes, and if necessary spam the heck out of alert, their um, abilities. So we've got nothing coming up, so actually we're going to move the flamer a little bit further. Like that. Right. Here come the foul Xenos. No mercy. A lot of them moving in from this direction as well. Okay. Did we get anything down there? Let's see. Too concentrated on thinking how I'm going to deal with them. Missed. Missed. He's overheated as well, so he needs to onto Overwatch, cool down, and reload. And. Hellfire the heck out of those guys. Oh, that. There was a whole stream of them, so it's worth. Sometimes it's worth just hell firing. Because you never know what's lurking in the darkness. Okay, here we're going to have to. What is he? He's got a four ballistic skill, so we're going to keep him where he is. Turn this guy. And again, just one of those situations where manually turning him gives us the ability to go a little bit further. And we're going to reload as well, because why not? And this fella, he's going to make his way up here. And then we're going to leave this guy. Come back in reverse, so that we've got some overwatch fire. Watching for enemy contact. Here we're doing okay. So again, these guys moving very slowly forward. Can go on Overwatch Still there. Try to another layer of failsafe. Still Earth Brothers. He's going to have to face forward because I don't want him to be caught unawares. You get to reload your Volta. And you. Moving to target coordinates. Also get to reload your Volta. Always, as I've said before, always worth using those little points that you keep having left over. Just to make sure that everybody is properly armed and armoured. He's overheated already. That's brilliant. Still, there we go. Time to start moving. Security area. To overwatch. Reload his weapon. There's the flamer. Flamer in the middle. Clear apart. Anything coming up this way? Doesn't look like it. Feels like we've got a little bit of a lull in the Gene Sealer swarm at the moment. Which I'm not complaining yes, about. I'm very happy to have a lull in the Gene Sealer numbers. Moving ahead. One. To nothing on the sensors, so you know what? We're going to take the risk and we're going to move a little bit, throw caution to the wind a little bit, and move up so we can get around this obstacle here in an expedient manner. Securing position. Actually, we can move him up further, can't we? Clear a path. These guys knock them off Overwatch. How far can they get? Securing position. And you, same. Knock him off Overwatch. Makes looks a bit messy at the moment, but nothing can get to them this turn. So I'm going to redeploy them here around this door in a defensive pattern. Nothing. Okay, I will take that. I will take that any day of the week. The 
enemy will fall before. Any more Xenos? Really don't see them. Clear a path. Weapon at the ready. Move these guys back again. Yep, yeah, not seeing anything. So we can actually Clear a path. use the time to reload his storm bolter because he desperately needs it. As like I said, we've got a little bit of a lull. We're going to keep the. He's got three ballistic skill. Anybody with anything higher than three, you can see these guys are all. All terrible in terms of ballistic skill. Okay, so I'm going to put him here. Turn to face south. So that we can put him on overwatch next turn. Uh, where's the... There's the apothecary. We're going to keep the apothecary actually here, I think. So, flamer is going to come here. So that we can move him out and flame if necessary. Here are you. Okay. You can go up here. Is there anything in that corridor? Looks like a clean corridor. Open the way. Okay, that looks safe. Apothecary is going to come in here, and the apothecary can then buff everybody in one fell swoop if needs be. Right, so these guys will hold this area and keep it clear of the enemy. That's the plan, anyway. I have movement, okay, Xenos brothers. movement. Put these guys onto oh, Overwatch. Can you actually fire across that chasm? Yes, he can. Okay. So that's good. Overwatch and reload. Overwatch. And you can come over here so that we only have to move the flamer in the future to let the rest of the squads filter through. Any more Xenos? Nope, we've got a little bit of a lull perhaps, or are they just... I'm going to meditate actually. We should leave him with nothing, okay, so... So we've got nothing on the sensors, uh, so nothing's going to be leaping out at us. We've got a guy who can just be on Overwatch if we need him to be. Overwatch protocol initiated. <laughs> kind of shuffling down these corridors. Okay, now we're getting some Xenos coming up. Okay. So it's just as well that we meditated. Let's burn there. Probably catch. Yeah, before we get a few of them there. Okay, move him here to face up and he can go on overwatch. Holding position. Our flamer guy come here face down. Got a Xenos there. So we're gonna burn him and block the corridor. Like that. Oh, it's the and then turn him. Well we can't turn him fully around, so if something manages to get through that flame, he's in trouble. So we've got the, uh, the the librarian there. So we should be okay. Objective log. He's going to have to run to get to this point. Okay. So if anything comes through this gate, we are screwed. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully nothing does, and we'll be okay. No mercy. Nope, nothing came through, so we are safe. Hello, hello. Movement, brothers. Move up to this junction. Put him on Overwatch. My aim is true. Uh, let's just see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they can't reach him this turn. Even if they can kind of reach him, they won't be able to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, we're kind of safe there. 
what we'll probably do is deploy these oh, goes down there. You can see them. Taking position. That's unfortunate, so we're gonna rely on this guy and his overwatch ability. Considering his BS is three, that's not brilliant. We'll have to do. We'll move one chap in to block off this path, this spawn point. <clears throat> Until such time as we can come here. Be clear of it, can we get there and then effect? Yep, we can. That got them. Did have a block that corridor. That's fine though. Actually, we can use the librarian to block this up. Move the flamer to here. Move this guy up to here. I guess. Overwatch. Didn't, ah, I forgot to turn off my overlay again. That was newbie of me, wasn't it? Holding position. Okay, leave a guard on this door just in case. The librarian will hold this area. He should be able to affect it with psychic powers anyway. Ah, but that's much further up. So actually, no, we can't do that. Darn it. We need the librarian. So I guess he is going to have to block that point up. Hmm. Ah, it changes things. For some reason, I was thinking the door was there, but it's not, of course. Does anybody have a mine? <laughs> Just see, does anybody have a... You have a mine. Okay, so you can go and block that. And keep us all nice and safe. Watching for enemy okay, contact. We need to move him forward one more at least, don't we? Let's well move him there, because then we'll get two shots on the target rather than just one. The enemy will fall before me. Let's see how far he can reach. Overwatch off. This guy to here. Clear a path. Have to move him forward one more. Move him to here. Can we get into there? Not quite. Okay. So we're going to use a force barrier ah bum 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 where should we block it off force barrier here no point letting them get too close that should prevent anything coming this way and we just have to hope that this chap can defend which he does okay we move up with our fellow here. The next turn he can deploy a mine. Can we move to here, turn this way. Moving to target coordinates. Yes, Commander. Deploy the Emperor's Holy Promethean. Wonder if we can get those all with a wide shot. Yes, we can. Look at that, some intersection as well. Okay. The monstrosity. So we're going to deploy a mine in there. I'm going to just quickly meditate, get some psychic points back because we're getting a bit low. Might as well use this lull to get our points. Okay, he's still okay on his own here, isn't he? Yep, nothing's coming from this for this squad. So maybe I should have moved them, but never mind. Where's that fire coming from? Nestor. So yeah, okay, now we got some kills over here by the looks of it. That was Nestor. Yeah, didn't get much opportunity to fight against them either, did we? Obstruction removed. 
Where did that come from? I don't even see that. I'll have to keep, I'll have to pay closer attention here because those two genes sort of snuck up without me noticing. And it's not because they suddenly materialised, it's just because I wasn't paying attention. Ten demerits for me. There we go. So that spawn point is blocked, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Gonna shuffle our order around here. Got another set of gene sealers coming up, that's okay. Meditate or Overwatch? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? We're gonna meditate. Try and build up some more um, powers. Because I think that's more important um, at the moment. And then he can't overwatch. Move the flame run behind him. Just shuffle these guys around so the next turn we don't have to. Okay, what's going on over this side? We've sorted these chaps out. End of the turn. Okay. Any targets down here? Any targets? Doesn't look like it. Oh yes, we do. Going blind, aren't I? Look, there's one right below my mouse cursor there. So, cool down. Take a shot. Drive them back. And then back onto Overwatch with him. Cool down and reload. Our librarian's gonna move forward, gets the shot. Okay, so we can start moving a little less cautiously here. Overwatch, reload. Get the flame into position. Catch up with him. That's nice and blocked, no problems there. Anything coming from this direction? Nothing that we can see. Okay. So it's back over to Logos, isn't it? And end turn. We're making our way through this slowly. No mercy. Nothing? Really? Okay. Nothing crept out to say hello to us that turn. I'm not sure whether to be happy or terrified at that prospect. So can we go down here to get to there? Is that a possibility? Very hard, yeah, I think that that's a junction there. We can go through to grab the artifact from there. Okay, so, move forward three, we'll get a shot on this chap. They are close brothers. Oh, we should have got a shot on that chap. It seems that it didn't want to give it to us. Doesn't matter. Scanning for enemy movement. Our librarian is awesome. Securing position. Wait, just do a quick check, make sure nothing's yeah, look, there we go, we've got some gene sealers coming. Can he be cheeky with a focus fire? How about if we step down and turn? Initiating attack protocol. He's got eyes on the target. And yeah, look at that. Confirm there we go. No more gene stealer. Poor little gene stealer. Okay, looks like we're safe. Getting there, guys. Enemy sighted. We have contact. Out from being awesome again, we're going to move up with our. Ah, that's a dead end. Look at that. See, okay. Good thing we were looking. So this corridor. What are we going to do here then? Do we blast them? Move the librarian out of the way. Blast them with fire. That would slow us down inordinately, wouldn't it? Objective locked. Gets the shot, takes the kill, gets the kill, take another shot. Okay. Overwatch and then reload. Start moving everybody into position. Affirmative. 
Doing okay here. How's this going? Wow. Resuming fire. There we go. He's fine. Fire. And what about the other side? They're all okay. Back over to Logos, because I think this is where we're going to have problems. No, I don't mean serious problems, but problems nonetheless. There we go. Get out to here, can't we? There's a spawn point. There's a gene stealer. There's our overwatch. And we're going to have to hellfire in an effort to get rid of these guys. Because I don't want to risk. Yeah, he gets both of them. That's good. Clear a path. There's an interestingly designed level as well. I'm liking the layout. It's really quirky. I wonder if we could... Well, that was a dead end, wasn't it? So... Who knows? Imperial shipwrights. They weren't very good, were they? Over this side. Oh, squad two is needed. Can flame there. Did he dodge that? He did. The ugly little cretin. Well, we've got plenty of flame of fuel, so we'll apply another blast. There we go. That got rid of him. Might as well keep leveling our flamers up. Okay, there's our gene sealers. Take a step forward. Misses. Take another step forward. Misses again. Step and turn. Move. And on to Overwatch. Uh, let's see. We be. No, we can flame our boss. Don't want to really do that, do we? Right uh, here. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Can be a little bit cheeky with our flamer though. I don't know how that works, but never mind. He didn't die either. Hmm. These are tough swines, aren't they? So we've got overlapping fields of... Oh, I didn't reload his gun. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Got overlapping fields of fire. So we should be okay. That's down the end here. Anything, nothing. Two spawn points. Okay. He's okay. How about over this side? Because they have been pushing here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can get to there. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Uh, it should be okay move our flamer just out of harm's reach, put him here, so that we're going to get overlapping fields of fire again if it does want to go for the flamer. Let's keep an eye on Logos and his team. Uh-oh. Oh, that was one lucky gene sealer. Ah, do we have a vent there? Looks like we might have a vent to contend with as well. Because... Oh, there's a door there. Okay. It's going to be a little bit harder to lock off then. Shapes and shadows in the dark. I don't really like that. Let's see. He's got nine points left. don't really want to use his psychic powers too much because he's not got much in the way of focus points left. So I don't want to use them needlessly. Going into Overwatch. Oops, now he needed to reload his Storm Bolter, didn't he? There we go. Don't want to make that mistake again. Okay. He's okay as well. Yeah, okay, we're done. This door takes out that gene sealer. He gets two of them down. There we go. He's got them as well. Move up to the next point. Moving. There's a lot of spawns here. Securing area. We do not like. Not at all. Still. That's why we bought the flamer. Because we can do that. OK, 
Okay, so are we going to take him to get the objective? I suppose so. Hope that nothing comes in after him. Clear a path. Overwatch. Nearly there. Nearly there. Mm, he overloaded. Did old Nestor. So cool down, reload, cool down, but he did the job. Kept them safe, and he is fine still. We still got to extract from this mess as well, which I'm not looking forward to. One iota. Okay, nothing for a turn. Okay, that's a dead end. That's good to know. <clears throat> so I'm going to do. Kind of redeploy to have a little bit more time to react Why should anything come through these corridors. Okay, that should give us nice overlapping fields of fire. Anything happening down this neck of the woods? All's quiet. That's disturbing. Yep, everything's quiet. So they're all. It's probably going to be a massive wave soon, isn't there? Okay, he missed. We're going to meditate. Get some of those force points back. You only had one shot at him. Take a second shot. Missed again. Don't let me down, Thumiel. Another shot. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool down and reload. This guy. Go pick up that artifact. So we've got the artifact now, just time to. Um, can I turn around? Thank you. Turn around and then get out of there. So he's got to be protected at all costs. Everybody else is a okay. Our flamer is doing okay for fuel. How about Logos and his team? They've got a gene sealer coming up, so. Two shots left with our flamer with this particular canister, and that's fine. Again, not quite sure how we burn down there, but we don't question. It works. Clear a path. Gets the kill. There's a whole swarm of them coming in now. Of course there is. Taking position. So we're going to meditate again. He's on Overwatch. Do we trust it to Overwatch? No, no, let's just have a look, see if we can do anything with the Flamer. We can get there, we can block that. How about wide? We could get those two with the wide flame, couldn't we? So we can do that, which blocks that corridor as well for a turn. There we go. He's moved already. On this side of things. Nothing on the scanners again. Okay, we're doing okay. I think, as long as we extract, I mean, this is going to be a longer video, I'm afraid. So sorry about that, guys, if you've got places to be. Okay, could spend one more time meditating. So we've got a load, yeah, he's at max force points now, that's good. Obstruction removed. The machine spirits have answered. Okay, and next turn we start moving again. Okay, we've got more gene sealers trying stuff here. So his last canister of fuel. That's okay. And then next turn, we've got to remember to reload that fuel canister. Don't let me forget, guys. I am prone to forgetting these things sometimes. Okay. End the turn, then we need to start thinking about extraction. Which is going to go something like this. Wide fire down here. 
So we've got a bit of breathing room. And then we can do the same once we get into the correct position. We can do the same here as well. Like that. Cleanse the monstrosity. Start to move it out. We're going to go here and Precious up. And then we're gonna start running. Run, 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 run. And this guy, yeah, okay, so we can get quite far. Look at that. Advance brothers. All's well that goes reasonably well. And just in case some gene sealer manages to brave the flames, put this dude on overwatch ready. and reload. Now we need to reload this guy's flamer, so he's on his last canister now. Okay, I think we're going to be using prescience a little bit more, it's only one AP and it gives us a lot of benefits. Prescience, that should affect everybody I think. Okay. He's out of ammo. That's okay. We're gonna bug out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. So they're all safe for now. Gene Seal is coming down again. Again, long fire this corridor. Might be a little bit of a waste of flame of fuel, but hey, who cares? We should, if we can use prescience all the time, we should be able to outpace the Xenos quite handily. Our flamer here is out of ammo. I don't really like running him empty, but at the moment, expedience oh, is the key. There we go. Now we're putting good distance between us and the gene sealers at the moment. Which is all that matters. Here we've got nothing on the sensors. Okay, nothing on the ore specs. Onward, brothers. Ah, here they come. Probably got another turn, perhaps, of being able to just straight out outrun them before we have to slow our pace down, I think. Yeah. Still, made good progress here. We're now pretty much oh, about halfway there, I guess. We have to slow down, though, now. No gene sealers there, they must all be behind us. Yeah, here they come. Okay, so we're going to use Hellfire this turn, and if we can kill that, then that'll block that corridor section, which will slow them down further, which is actually more beneficial to us at this precise moment in time. Affirmative. And he's moving as well. We keep him facing down just in case anything decides to come out of the spawn points down here. He does have a great shot, but you never know your luck. I have movement, brothers. Okay, there we go. And with any luck, we can force them into coming this way instead. And burn the blighters as they try it. So this chap's the important one. He's got the artifact. So we're going to push him ahead. We're going to slow the pace a little bit with the others. Order 
Hold I'm going to have to reload here. Just in case we need it. So we can move to turn around and then go on to Overwatch. Weapon ready. For this guy, move to here. He's not going to be able to get all the way around, sadly. There we go. The next turn, he can be on Overwatch as well. We're spreading out a little bit, which I don't like, but I think that we're Moving okay on. here. Got two guys on rear guard duty. Let's move the flamer out of the way. Get our chap up into here. Let's got the artifact. Run, little man, run. Let's close the gap. Move our troops into position, and next turn, we should be done, I think. Another mission successful. Scanning for enemy movement. Thanks to prodigious amounts of flamer and storm bolter and psychic Watching powers. And not one iota. To our poor apothecary. How much maligned apothecary? They approach. Ooh, that's a lot of gene stealers coming down there. That's a lot a lot of gene stealers, isn't it? And you know what we do to a lot a lot of gene stealers, don't you? We go, Hellfire! I'm going to catch them all, sadly. But hey, you know. It's a beautiful thing. I uh, only killed one that time. Mm, they're getting tougher, perhaps. Holy Still, we've got Terminators aplenty to defend here. Fire a long shot down there. Like that. Which gets us another kill. And you can cool down and reload. And that's it then. Oh, no, no, no. Here you go. Forgot we had him to move. Is that it? No, not quite. Okay, we have to actually get to that square. So one more turn. <clears throat> Which is cool because we got another turn of blasting gene sealers to gooey little ribbons. Targets. Like that. Enemy sighted. 27% chance, not much of one, but one. 57. Two. There we go. And then let's hellfire again. Can't catch everybody, sadly. Let's get as many kills as we can out of this before the end. There we go, got two that time. You dude need to cool down, reload, cool down. And he needs to cool down as well, actually, and reload. And this should be mission accomplished. Oh, we actually have to deploy it. There we go. There we go. So that was quite a fun little mission. 40 turns, took a long time. I wonder how many we killed. Quite a few levels up by the looks of it. Four levels up, that's not bad. 109 kills. Who did the best? Logos, yeah. 32 kills. That Psychic Storm is just unbelievably powerful. Kenyon didn't kill anything. Poor Soddy. Was the only one who didn't get a single kill? Still, everybody else... Oh, okay. Scout from didn't. That's a shame, because he did quite well with his rear guard. But everybody else is leveled. Look at all that. Eight levels up. Not too bad. And not a single Terminator loss in that mission. So I'm quite chuffed with that. But, I have, if you've stayed with me through this entire episode, then I have kept you far too long. This is quite a long one. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh, look at this. We've got two different missions. What the heck's going on there? Wow, okay. weird. Anyway, yeah, get dragged into that next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I quite enjoy playing this game and I hope you enjoy watching it. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below the video. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I shall see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.